Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, the best place for go-getters, dreamers and achievers. How are you guys doing today? Let me know in the comments below. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon as you can see here in California and I'm just chilling right here by the pool and recording my video. <laughs> Uh, it's your call, no one will. And you realize that stagnation will be a thing of the past. How we do it? Please click on the subscribe button and leave your comments below. I'll be sure to rest watching this video till the very end. Uh, called Business Moguls. And I'll leave the link in the description till I see you again in the next video. So, without further ado, let me introduce myself to you guys. Um, my name is Miriam. I'm, I'm a wife, a mom, a student, and an entrepreneur. Of course, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so, Today we will be talking about how to release from stagnation and I'll start by introducing what stagnation is. Stagnation is an experience that we have, you know, in which we feel, we feel stuck or indecisive, you know. We already, we have the ability to decide, but for some strange reasons, you know, we, for some strange reasons, we're unable to decide or take actions, you know. Uh, Stagnation has a lot to do has a lot to do with our state of mind, you know. Uh, stagnation is a state of not moving or not flowing. It is lack of activities or growth or development. There is where you want to be, you know, where you are now, and beliefs that you have that create stagnation. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, I want to say a big thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and leave your comments below. I want to know your thoughts. I want to read, you know, I want to know what you feel as well. It's a two-way thing and I would like to read from you as well. So let's go over to the topic of the day. But before I begin to state the points on how to release from stagnation, I would like to drop this note. It is the thoughts that you allow your mind to dwell upon that creates your experiences. So let's go over to tip number one. Tip number one on how to release from stagnation. Number one, realize that you are not alone. Everyone stagnates at one point or the other in life and all you need to do is acknowledge it and tell yourself it's okay. That way, you can then focus on the constructive steps that will help you to overcome it. Number two, find out what inspires you. You know, stagnation comes because there isn't anything that excites you enough to take action. If you don't have a habit of setting goals, you know, and you just leave yourself to daily mundanes, then it's, it won't be surprising that you're experiencing stagnation. On the other hand, even if you're a wonderful or a top-notch goal setter, top-notch, you know, um, someone that sets your goals all the time, there are some times that you set goals, you know, in the past that, that have lost their appeal now. So what do you have to do in that situation? You know, sometimes we lose touch or we're in a different emotional state. We lose touch with our goals, you know, compared to when we're all fired up while writing down those goals, you know. We are in a different mental state from that time when we, we were fired up, when we were gingered, you know, to do things and to achieve um, all the things on our um, to-do list or everything that we have. The truth is sometimes our priorities change and we don't want to work on those goals you know anymore most times we don't consciously realize this and so when that happens we begin to procrastinate on our goals until the compounds into a serious problem by the way I made a video on how to get rid of procrastination I think you should watch it let me know your thoughts once you're done watching it leave your comments below and I'll be sure to respond to them thank you so let's proceed so if adventure your adventure you're in a different mental state and then I think it's time for you to check out your goals have a, a second look at your goals again you know, and tweak it where necessary you know, there's no point pursuing a goal that no longer inspires you so it might be time for you to just check it out check out those um, goals of yours and tweak it again to your current state of mind you know or what you want at that point in time you know it's okay to trash away your old goals or put them aside and ask yourself what you really want now then go for it by all means please go for it point number three give yourself a break come to think of it when was the last time you took a break 
you know, especially with this pandemic, where we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're overwhelmed with work. We're just working and working and working and not remembering when to take a break, you know. So, so when was the last time you took a break? Three months ago, six months ago, one year ago, or never, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's time to take a, a short or a long break from work. Prolonged walking can actually cause someone to get disillusioned. That's when they lose sight of who they are and what they want. You know, it can happen to anyone as well. So we need to pause, take a pause, and um, see see if it is um, a break that we need to take. Go take some extended leave from work if necessary. A few days, you know, um, at the minimum or a month or you know a few few weeks yeah or a month could could, could help you know so you might want to look into that yeah I, I recall when I was pregnant with my first daughter and I was potting and um, I didn't know you know the I didn't know how grievous it is I didn't know how how dangerous it was you know I kept working I was overworking myself I worked at the bank then you know I was trying to meet my targets day in day out I was still wearing my high heels you know I was I was just living like it's it's you know I was just everything was it was just business as usual for me I didn't know it was time for me to take Caution, like take necessary precaution and go on bed rest you know and then I went to the hospital and the doctor asked me to choose between my baby and my job and that was when it dawned on, dawned on me that was when it dawned on me that hey girl you need to take a break you know so um, technically I resigned on that day I was just going to work I was only showing, showing my face at work but I wasn't um, I wasn't there anymore I was supposed to take compulsory leave you know so I had to um, I was on bed rest right there at the hospital. I wasn't allowed to go back to the office. So I had to call my driver to go get my car from the office, come to the hospital, pick me up and then back. And I wasn't allowed to drive again, like for the rest of the pregnancy, you know. So sometimes all we need to do is just take a break, you know, pause, you know, take a pause, take a break, you know, and recoup back and you'll be fine. Um, sometimes it's, all you need is just a, a, a break just take a little break so you can get your life back in order. Point number four, shake up your routines, you know. Being in the same environment, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and meeting the same people can actually make you feel stagnant. And this is especially if the people you work with or if the people you spend the most time with are stagnant themselves, you know. You might not quickly notice this, but it is true. So, um, it could be change things around you you know start by taking a different route to work you know if you still work during the pandemic you know eating something different for breakfast you know um have your lunch with different colleagues have have lunch with colleagues you've never talked to you know sit down with them and you know work in a different cubicle if your office or if your company if your work has free and easy seating you know so um you can apply those you know to have a shift you know how you feel at that point in time so do something different than your usual things for your weekday evenings and your weekends you know cultivate different habits you know like exercising every day or you know, listening to a new series of podcasts every morning to work or reading a book these different contexts will give you a different stimulus you know which will trigger a different thoughts and actions in you start with a small step you know stagnation comes from being frozen with fear maybe you want a certain goal but you're not taking action you know are you overwhelmed by the amount of work needed to are you afraid that you make mistakes or is the perfectionist in you taking the better part of you break down what's before you into very very small steps then try to take those little small steps one little step at a time some people are stagnant for fear of failure and because of this they stay in the single spot for three years or more for being afraid I mean for being too scared of failing hey girl hey it is better to try and fail than not to try at all and you know what? Failure is an integral part of life. In fact, it's, it's an opportunity to begin again more intelligently. You know, failure is not fatal. You know, it's a fear on the other hand. According to me, it means um, false evidence appearing real. F-E-A-R. 
false evidence appearing real so by the time you have that at the back of your mind you know you have a better mindset on how um, to go about things let go of fears that are causing stagnation and make that move today remember it's your call no one will do it for you so guys put all these tips into practice and see that and you will realize that stagnation will be a thing of the past for you if this video has blessed you, you know how we do it. Please click on the subscribe button and leave your comments below. I'll be sure to respond to everyone that leaves a comment on my video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. For everyone interested in joining my Facebook group, it's called Business Moguls. Um, we help to inspire people with um, business ideas or people with running their businesses or people running businesses um, to take their businesses to the next level. So please feel free to join my Facebook group. It's called Business Moguls. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description below so be sure to join you and we'll be happy we'll be glad to welcome you in thank you so much for watching this video till the very end till, you, till i see you again in the next video take care